The fact that you are here in the UK as a political refugee would suggest that you have failed in your opposition to Putin. Well, uh, it may seem so for now, but uh, confronting uh, today's centralized regime in Russia is, uh, is uh, not easy. And it has uh, in its, uh, at its disposal all the administrative power, all the law enforcement. So it's true that uh, many people who fight for democracy and freedom in Russia have either, are either in exile or are in prison. You are the right-hand man to Alexei Navalny of the Progress Party. Um, and on April the 16th, during a phone-in program, President Putin said the opposition has the right and the opportunity to take part officially and legally in political life. Of course, it must and it should. The opposition are planning to run this year in regional elections, in parliamentary elections next year. So what's the problem? Well, uh, let's take our Progress Party as an example. It was formed about three years ago. And we consistently have been trying to register this party, uh, fulfilling on the cumbersome um, regulations that Russia has. But still, we haven't succeeded. But the polls say that uh, our party has uh, more approval rating than many of the uh, parties that are presented in the parliament. And still, they don't register it. So to say that the uh, the field is level is is uh, illusion. You say that you've got that appeal, but you know there are supporters of the opposition. Even just take one example: a young woman, Miss Zarieva, supporter of the opposition, says that once they manage to work together with a greater group of people, then something big will happen. At this point, the opposition is a little bit in a world of its own. You've got to broaden your appeal beyond that Moscow middle class elite. Well, I think Moscow is a good step. A, a slogan for our electoral campaign of Alexei Navalny, the most prominent Russian opposition politician uh, when he was running for the position of mayor of Moscow in 2014 was start with Moscow and continue to Russia. Moscow, but obviously... that's the point. You haven't really broadened your appeal nationally, have you? Well, the people, uh, the, the same agenda that we presented in Moscow elections, anti-corruption, freedom, economic uh, freedom and uh, development resonates with people all over the country. Okay, 